everyone, welcome back to another corner of the internet. I hope you're all doing well. March 15th was my 27th birthday and if you have been watching my channel for a while you know that every year on my birthday I like to do almost like a little bit of a time capsule just talking about the year that was and the year that's coming. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. So my 27th birthday is my first birthday as a married woman. Nick and I got married um, exactly two months before my birthday on January the 15th. That's kind of like the only massive change since my birthday last year. We're still living in our first home, we're still living in Wellington, I've still got the same job. Um, but yeah, everything is pretty good right now. The things that I'm obsessed with right now are the Wooden Spoon Birthday Cake Ice Cream. Oh my gosh, it is so good. If you haven't tried it, you definitely need to. And I also have just been like massively craving watermelon this whole month. I actually have like a little bowl of it right here that I've just been snacking on. I feel like this is the first birthday in a very long time as well that I haven't been binge watching one of my favorite TV shows, which is really weird for me because normally I feel like I'm always binge watching something. Um, but yeah, I've just been so busy recently that I haven't like sat down to binge on anything. I have just finished uh, watching the latest season of 24 Hours in A&E, which has always been one of like those shows that I go back to. Don't know why, but I do. Um, and I'm still binge listening to the My Favourite Murder podcast. I think I started listening a good like 18 months after the very first episode first came out and I've been listening to them in order. So I think right about now I'm like maybe six months behind. So I'm definitely catching up. One of the things that I wanted to do before I turned 27, which didn't happen, is get my full license. So for those of you that don't know, I had my learner license for almost 10 years. I got my restricted license in February of last year um, and that is going to be something that I focus on in 2019 is getting my full license. It just hasn't been a priority with everything else going on. One of the other things I wanted to do before I turned 27 which I actually managed to do was renovate the bathroom and also renovate the bedroom which is where I'm sitting right now and I'm really proud of Nick and I for being able to do that because especially the bathroom it was quite a big cost uh, compared to the other DIYs that we've been doing uh, that we managed to like pay for that while also saving for a wedding and also saving for a honeymoon So yeah, I'm pretty proud that we managed to do that and before I turn 28 We are definitely going to pick up the DIY again after we get back from our honeymoon We're just not sure what yet. we're talking about it today in terms of like the area of the house that we still want to do We just need to figure out exactly what but I hope 28 year olds may if you're watching this that you have managed to do up a little bit more of the house. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to in the next year is actually coming up pretty soon and that's Nick and I going on our honeymoon. We're taking a month off and we are traveling to a bunch of different places. Some that we've been to before, some that we haven't been to before, so it should be really fun. Um, and then I actually like don't know what else is going to happen for the next year. I feel like for the last two years Nick and I have been so focused on like planning for the wedding, planning for the honeymoon and then that's almost like all over so it's going to be pretty weird. I'm not too sure what I'm going to be able to focus my time and effort on but I guess we'll see in the next year. Definitely want to do some renovations, definitely want to do a little bit more travel be that around New Zealand, around Australia, further afield, who knows. Oh I just remembered one of the other things that I really want to do this year um, that Nick and I have talked about is get another little cat. So Subi here has a little bit of a friend so we might look at doing that uh, over the winter time which should be pretty exciting. I feel like I'm in a pretty good place this year and if the rest of the year continues to be kind of chill as I said I'm all for that but if it gets also more exciting with travel or adventures or who knows what um, I guess it'll just be something to look forward to. But yeah if you also have a birthday in March I hope you have a really great birthday month and a really great birthday as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys all later on.